Hi, in this video we will have a look at Microsoft Power Automate Community Forum Thread. The question here is, when the user receives a particular email, we need to look the subject line which contains these two words. Then based on that, we need, we need to read some Excel files. So you can see here 2024, 2022, 23, 2022, yeah, and so on. And the scheme also given for the Excel file is customer name, customer code, email, purchase amount, purchase amount and year. Okay, so uh, I asked a further question here regarding is that all the Excel sheet have the same table name? So it, it did said that yes, I use the same table name for all the worksheets. Then I also asked for some sample, um, you know, the subject lines. So here is the subject line looks like. So when it comes here, when the email receives, then what we need to look here is look for those words, these words, and then at the end it represents the, at the end it represents the year. So based on that year, we need to get the Excel sheet to read the contents. Okay, so let's build this flow then. So I have an inbox here. So the inbox I configured, um, the trigger is when a new email arrives. Okay. Right, the next stage, what we want to do here is we need to look for the subject line contains. So look for, subject contains okay and um, what is what it did said here is let's have a look here the requirement these two words a p o r t and also another one again subject contains let's go back here and copy incentive here it is. We will do make an or condition because one or the other we want. Then you know in the subject line it contains the year. So let's go back here. You can see here. Here it is. See that the last word we need to find that is the year. Yeah. So to do that, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a compose here. Add a compose. Here it is. Then in the combos, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to split that. So under the expression, I'm going to say split the subject line, press the escape key, then go to the dynamic content, select the subject, okay. Then I'm going to use my separator. You can see here next is a separator we want. So put single quotes, two single quotes, put a space. So that's what I want. Then at the beginning, what I need is I need to use the last because that's the last word we want, okay? That to give, give us the year, 2022 or 2023 based on the subject, yeah? So that's the year we got. So let's rename this uh, compost. It's good practice to have that. That's the person's year now. So we got the year now. Next, what, what we need to do is we need to, you know, read that file and get the content. So what I did is I created three files under my OneDrive. So you can see the same schema here for 2022. It is, you know, there are some records here. So same thing I did for 23 and 24. So I got few records here actually, which I'll show you now. A few files, yeah, here it is, 22, 23, 24, different contents here, okay? Let me drag and drop here. Okay, so the next thing we need to do here is read the Excel sheet. So go into the Excel file, list rows present in a table and select the OneDrive. That's where my file says. Then the document library, again, it's OneDrive and the file. So file, we need to, you know, browse it and select one file now at the minute. I'll show you the technique. Remember the scheme, the file uh, for all the worksheets, the header is the same and the table name is the same. Yeah, that's the rule here and look for the flow demo and select the file. I'm going to select 2022 now here, here it is. Then in this way I can select the table one here, here it is. Then I'm going to add a compose so that I can iterate all the values, whatever I want. So here it is, I can get the customer name, 
there we go and put a hyphen then I'm going to add year so there's an year also in that and then I'm going to add there's an amount column there yeah that's enough yeah okay so we know that these are a couple of fields we can get yeah but we want to make it dynamic so to do that what we need to do here is place the cursor here and we know that's here so map that value here there we go then delete 2022 oh, put a slash oh, f4 let me put the slash there we go now you may notice that the table is just you know it doesn't know the table name anymore so just remove that make it as a custom value and my table is called table one so just call it as table one that's it because this need to be the same for all the files that's the rule but now see here the scheme and nothing has been changed again yeah we know the scheme is going to be the same okay that's all good so let's save this so let's say demo community outlook custom right let's save this okay once it's saved what i'm going to do is i'm going to send an email here and uh, we will check that so i'm going to send an email for year 2024 okay test i'm going to click on the test okay so let me email now okay so i just sent an email now so any minute uh, we will see the flow is going to run and uh, hopefully you know we can see the iterations of the each, each steps here okay okay flow ran but oh it became false actually i think what happened here is my subject line i put yeah i know what it is so let me go back here this subject line here uh, we need to convert that into lower case because the comparisons are uh, too lower then go back and select the subject here yeah because i sent the subject with one capital letter there that's the reason so this should resolve it so same for here also so let's copy the same expression click ok that that's it and if I'm going to click test, going to run the same trigger which is not succeeded last time. Let's see. I'm not going to send another email now, so uh, that will save some time. Ah, okay, that didn't work. Ah, okay. I think the I don't think. Okay, let me send another email. Let's see. Let me send another email. okay so i send another email okay it looks like it's working now so that was 2024 my subject line um can i see here from the show row input no not there if i click download here let's see here um you can see the subject line see that so i'm getting the last uh, you know the last word which is which is 2024 Okay, so that matched uh, the if condition, then, you know, the expression work, worked out what year it is. It's reading the list of rows, see that, it's dynamically passed the year, then we got the content here in the compost. Here it is, David, 2024, 3500, that's a year, name, year, and the amount. Okay, I'm going to do another file now, so let's test. This is the 2024, so I'm going to test another for 2023 then, okay. So let's test manually again. Click on test. Meantime, I'm going to send another email now. Okay. Okay, I sent another email. So let's have a look. Email, click download. You can see here the subject. That's for 2023. See, that's another one. And it's see that A P O R T. That's the word it's looking for in the subject. Let's close this. And in the condition, it said true year. 2023 that's good news list rows it's reading that content 
apply to edge i got the content it's a different content now see that so this is a technique we need to do it yeah so first we need to check whether it contains these two within our condition make sure it should be under two lower yeah that's a expression we need to use then find the year using this expression which is last split then split with the the spaces because the subject contains the space so that the last word we can pick using that expression then the apply to h but remember the technique is first we manually get one you know binding here it rate uh, construct the apply to h add the values whatever you want to extract, extract from that excel sheet then once you put the dynamic one then clear the table value there select the dynamic and then manually type table one here or whatever whatever the table in your excel sheet it is okay so hopefully this is helpful thank you for watching